Hello children. In the last class, we have studied about patterns of biodiversity. We have studied two patterns of biodiversity that is latitudinal gradients and area species relationship. In this class, we are going to study about the importance of species diversity to the ecosystem. An ecologist, David Tillman, he studied the importance of this species diversity in the ecosystem and came to a conclusion that in a land where the species diversity is more, there will be a less year-to-year -year variation in the total biomass. That means more species diversity, less variation in the total biomass. Now what exactly this means? We'll see this with, we'll try to understand with this diagram. Here two plots are there, plot A and plot B. In plot A you can see only one species that is grass variety. In plot B there is a diversity of species. Due to climatic change what happened? The entire grass wills. So what happened? The animal species which depend on this grass they may either move out of this plot or they may die. Okay. Now the animal species which depend on this grass they move to the other plants. So what you have seen here, here there is a large or a huge variation in the total biomass but there, here in this plot there is a less variation in the total biomass. This is what is concluded by David Tillman where in a land where, the, where there is a more species diversity there will be less variation in the total biomass. Another ecologist Paul Eldrick he proposed a hypothesis which is known as rivet popper hypothesis. What is rivet? Rivet is nothing but nut and bolt. Popper means to take away. He compared the ecosystem with that of the aeroplane. So he compared ecosystem with aeroplane and species with that of rivet. Okay, now passenger traveling in the aeroplane, if they remove one rivet, rivets from the seat, that will not cause any effect to the aeroplane. If Suppose all, uh, some passengers continuously removing rivets from the aeroplane, what will happen? The plane become dangerously weak. Now, it depends upon the place where the rivet is placed. Suppose if, uh, if we are removing a rivet from the wing, what will happen? It will cause a great threat to the safety of the flight. Similarly, in an ecosystem, when we remove one species, that will not cause any effect to the ecosystem. If we continuously remove species from the ecosystem, that will weak the stability of ecosystem. There are certain species which keeps the ecosystem in a stable condition. Suppose, if we are removing that species from the ecosystem that will cause a great threat to the stability of the ecosystem. Now 
what is rivet popper hypothesis says this is proposed by paul elric he compared the ecosystem with that of aeroplane and species with that of rivet one species if it is removed from the ecosystem that will not affect the ecosystem but there are certain species which keeps the ecosystem in a stable condition suppose if that species is removed accidentally or by the human beings unknowingly that will cause a great threat to the stability of the ecosystem next we'll see the loss of biodiversity iucn red list 2004 documents near about 784 species which are extinct from this earth what is the full form of IUCN? International Union for Conservation of Nature. So, they red list, in the red list, near about 784 species are extinct from this earth in the past 500 years. Which include invertebrates, vertebrates as well as plants. Recently, few species are extinct from this earth in the last 50 years. That is listed in your NCRT book that, ha that you have to remember. The species are dodo. Dodo is a, it was, it is extinct, totally extinct from this earth. It was a flightless bird which was found in Mauritius. Kuaga, it was found in Africa, thylacine from Australia, Steelers, sea cow from Russia, and th three subspecies of uh, tiger that is Bali. Javan and Caspian. These are the three subspecies of tiger. They are totally extinct from this earth. So, dodo, quagga, thylacine, steeler sea cow. Bali, Javan and Caspians which are this are the subspecies of tigers that are extinct from this earth. In the last 20 years have witnessed the disappearance of 27 species. There are so many species that is uh, that face a threat of extinction. They are 12 species of all birds, 23 species of all mammals, 32 species of amphibians, 31 species of all gymnosperms. This species face a threat of extinction. The extinction which presently takes place is known as the sixth extinction. Five episodes of extinction had already happened in the earth before the appearance of human being. Now, children, in the earth, life form appeared 
500 million years after the formation of the earth. At that time, there was no human beings. The lives are prokaryotic unicellular organisms. Gradually, they changed into unicellular eukaryotes. And then they uh, uh, develops into multicellular organism. Gradually, they changed into plants, animals like that. So at that time also, there was a mass extinction. Okay. Human being appeared in the earth 15 million years ago. So the five episodes which had happened, that is before the appearance of the human being. The present episode after the appearance of the human being are said to be the sixth extinction. This extinction is said to be more devastating. The reason is that the rate of the sixth episode of extinction is, uh, is much higher. It is near about 100 to 1000 times more than that five earlier episodes. Now, it is just due to the activity of the human beings. Ecologists estimate if at this rate species are extinct from this earth one day or you can see half of the species wiped away from this earth in 100 years. Now, what are, by this loss of biodiversity, what happened to the ecosystem? Biodiversity, that is loss of biodiversity leads the, a decline in the production of plant, a decrease in the resistance to stress condition like drought and salinity, and increase in the variability of ecosystem process like plant productivity, water use, and pest disease cycle. So these are the, uh, these are what happens when uh, biodiversity are lost. Okay. Now we will see what are the causes of biodiversity. Now we will see causes of biodiversity losses. First one is habitat loss and fragmentation. Large area of the forest is broken into small pieces by human beings, by the activity of the human beings. In this process, so many plant species and animal species are lost or they extinct from this earth. Children, you know, mammals require a large territory. Suppose we take a forest area, okay? Now, in this forest area, 30% of this forest, if it is occupied by human being, what will happen? The plants and the animals which were present earlier here that will be lost as well as the animal species, they move towards the inner forest area. Okay. You might have come across with news uh, that tigers attacks uh, domestic animals as well as the human beings. That is tigers enter, enter into the village and they attack human beings and the domestic animal. Children, it is not the animal who enters into the villages of human beings we the human being invaded in their area, in their territory. That is why they are, it is their territory. Obviously, they'll come and atta attack the domestic animal as well as human being. You take the example of uh, Andaman itself. Middle Strait, once there was a, it was a uh, large dense forest. 
before the construction of uh, ATR road. During the construction of ATR road, this ATR road is constructed uh, through the center of the forest by cutting down the forest and flora and fauna of that area. So making the forest into small fragments. So it was a great loss of biodiversity. When you see in the earlier, 14% of this earth was covered by tropical forest. Now only 6% of the earth was covered by tropical forest. More than half of the forest were removed by the human activity. You have heard about Amazon forest. It is known as the lung of earth. Why it is known as the lung of earth? Because this Amazon forest consists of a dense or you can see many species of plant varieties are found in this forest. Okay, so this plant releases oxygen that is helpful for other animals of this earth. That is why it is said to be the lung of the earth. Now this forest or the large area of this forest were cleared by human beings for the purpose of cultivation of soya bean. And some areas are converted into grassland for raising cattle. So by the activity of human being, there was a great loss of habitat as well as the forest is fragmented into small, small pieces. Second is over exploitation. Human beings depend upon this natural resource for food and shelter. If the needs of human being turns into greed that cause over exploitation. By this process, a large number of species were extinct from this earth. We have seen already dodo, stealers, sea cow. Okay, one more is their passenger, pigeon. They are all extinct from this earth. You know, in the entire world, marine fishes are harvested in tons. By this harvesting, that means the tons are removed from the sea that may cause a threat to the species, as some species of the marine fishes. So it is due to the over-exploitation. Over-exploitation causes a great threat to the certain species or it may cause extinction of certain species. Third is alien species invasion. What is alien? Alien means foreign. A new species when it invade into a particular area intentionally or accidentally that may decline the population or the, uh, of the indigenous species of that particular area. Examples are Nile, Perch, when this Nile perch is introduced into the Victoria Lake, what happened? 200 species of cichlid fishes were extinct from this lake. Now, 
this alien species when they enter into a new area or new place they do not have any competitors to control their growth there is no predator to control their growth okay that is why they multiply rapidly okay that will cause a decrease or decline in the species or uh, of the uh, in that is we can say the decline in the indigenous species of that particular area next example we'll see let me write here next example is water hyacinth it is known as water hyacinth this plant bear a beautiful flower because of its beautiful flower they are introduced into the lake of uh, west bengal so they multiplied in the lake by vegetative propagation and wh what happened they covered the entire lake and they drain out the oxygen which is present in the lake and cause a great threat to the aquatic species next example we can see parthenium parthenium it is also known as carrot grass this parthenium is a foreign um, species they entered into our country accidentally how along with the grain when the grains are transported to a country along with the grain they ent entered into a country and they multiplied in this in our land in this particular area and that caused a great threat to the indigenous species of that particular area another plant is lantana they are also invaded into a particular area and declines the species of that particular area okay so what what you have seen alien species are either they came into a particular area accidentally or intentionally that cause a decline in the indigenous species of that particular area next we'll see the fourth one is co extinction what is co extinction co extinction you can see in the mutualist mutualistic association two organism they interact with each other two species this association we have already studied in the previous chapter also symbiotic association so both the species they associate with each other by this association both are benefited okay if one species extinct then the other species also get extinct we'll see the example of fig and moth fig is having a hypanthodium inflorescence and there is a specific moth visit this hypanthodium inflorescence for laying egg and they again visit another hypanthodium flower for laying egg and in this process pollination takes place and the moth lay egg in the hypanthodium you can see the hypanthodium is like this this is the hypanthodium inflorescence okay here there is fertile flower here sterile flowers are present and here you can see the male flowers okay so the moth they enter into this hypanthodium through this entrance 
okay during this process what happened they are dusted with the pollen grain and they lay egg in the sterile flowers and the, when, when this egg hatches larvae are formed the larvae take nutrition from the sterile flower okay so both are benefited suppose if the moth extinct moth get extinct what what happen Aut automatically this fig get uh, also get extinct the reason is that pollination of the fig will not takes place similarly if the fig extinct then the moth will also get extinct the reason is that moth will not get a place for laying egg and uh, uh, the larvae will not get any nourishment so that is why this is this is that is why it is known as co-extinction that means one species if it is extinct the, along with that another species also get extinct you can see another example yucca plant as well as their own specific moth okay another example is dodo dodo we have studied dodo dodo is already extinct from this earth now in mauritius there is a plant which is known as calvary plant calvary plant now started to extinct from the earth so what we have studied in the causes of biodiversity losses we have studied four uh, causes this four causes is also known as evil quartet what do you mean by quartet quartet means four there are four evil things which cause the loss of biodiversity children in your examination question will come right evil quartet at the time you just, you, it is nothing but you have to write all the four causes of loss of biodiversity so what are the causes of biodiversity first is habitat loss and fragmentation large area of the forest were broken into small pieces by human activity that is why there is a loss of habitat and fragmentation second is over exploitation when human needs turns into greed that cause over exploitation so many species extinct by this process and third you can see alien species invasion a foreign species entered into a particular area intentionally or accidentally that declines the growth of indigenous species or uh, extinct the indigenous species of that particular area we have seen the examples like nile perch when it introduced into the victoria lake that reduces 200 species of the cichlid fishes and water hyacinth they are introduced because of its beautiful flower and they cause a great threat to the aquatic animals parthenium came into this um, uh, our country accidentally and lantana these are the example we have seen in alien species invasion next is co-extinction in the co-extinction that means two species mutually associated with each other if the extinction of one species cause the extinction of the other species example is fig and moth specific moths relationship yucca plant and a specific moths relationship in the next class we'll study about the conservation of ecosystem thank you